Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. My name's Chloe. So today's video is going to be a bit of a skincare update. Um, if you have been watching a few of my videos, I did upload uh, kind of first impressions of some skincare products like the Jeffree Star um, newest cleanser he's brought out and some cool delay bits that I bought. Um, so yeah, I did a first impressions and I said in that video, I will keep you guys updated. Um, so here's a video about four or five weeks after using those products so I can really give you an in-depth sort of review. So it's up to you guys if this is the first time you're clicking onto one of my videos, if you do want to look for that video and then watch this one. I did want to include a little snippet of my skin as well. So before I filmed this look today, I actually um, had my bare face on camera so you can see a little difference. Um, and I used the products again for you and talked a little bit about them, but I will talk in more depth about them um, now. If you would like to see a tutorial on this look, it is filmed. I filmed an almost full face of Refai uh, Beauty products as I got a bit more for my birthday last week. Um, I'm just completely obsessed with like that whole like cool girl, like clean girl makeup and I just wanted to film something for my channel. Um, so this will either be up before or after, but it is filmed for you. Hey guys, welcome back. So um, I thought that it was only fair for this sort of skin update um, to show you what my skin looks like instead of just kind of sat there talking about the products with makeup on as I am going to do quite a few videos today. So I'm just going to put the products on my face again just like I did in the um, original sort of first impressions video. But yeah, I will talk about them in more depth sort of after. So I'm just taking the uh, Jeffree Star Strawberry Seed Exfoliating Cleanser. I have used this so much. Um, I I do really, really like it. Um, I do really like the original um, strawberry cleanser face wash that he got. He has as well. Um, so I'm just wetting the face a little bit as I just find that um, you can apply it to dry skin and then wet the you know hands and sort of rub it in. But I I've just found that this is the, the better way that I like to use the product. So yeah, I'm just kind of working it all the way around my face. Um, it's so soft and gentle, I don't feel like the um, seeds are really harsh at all. And my skin just feels so fresh afterwards, it doesn't feel tight, um, I haven't had any kind of reaction to this. Um, I do think that it's helped the texture of the blackheads on my nose as well. Um, I felt like, I mean, I just feel like my the size of them and the appearance of them have definitely changed in the last four weeks. So I'm really, really impressed with that. Um, I'm just getting into the chin as well. I've got a few whiteheads just on my chin here. But yeah, I do use this um, quite a few times in the week. And I'll either use my um, Bare Minerals like Pure Plush cleanser um, or I've got my Kiehl's um, cleanser that I got in the little set from Christmas. Um, but, you know, I do mostly use this one in my routine. So I'm just going to add a bit of water and just work it in a bit more. Um, I like to spend a bit of time working cleanser into my skin and I feel like this has got the most out of the product as well and has really made a difference in my skin that I have been with all my cleansers really just taking an extra minute to really sort of work it in but yeah I just kind of um wet this into my skin and then I just kind of really wet the face. I'm going to put my face over the bowl and just kind of splash it with some water. The one thing I will say about this cleanser is that you do really have to make sure that it is completely off your skin as um, I've noticed that when I've just kind of like quickly washed my face in the morning and I maybe haven't taken the time to really wash the cleanser off properly and um, that I've noticed little like white almost um, hard bits of the cleanser around the face. I don't know if that's from the seeds, um, I'm not too sure, but you know, I, I usually have to sort of go in and splash my face with a bit more water just to get that sort of residue off. And then next I always go in with my toner 
Um, in the mornings, I tend to use this one from Jeffree Star, the um, Strawberry Water Alcohol Free Facial Toner. And I only swipe it around the face, um, sort of in that area once. So I'm not going over this portion again because I've already gone over it once. Um, take it through the brows. Just around. And then I'll to go down the neck with it as well. But yeah, I use this one in the morning um, and I use my ordinary glycolic one at night. But on the days that I use retinol, I'll um, not use that toner and I'll use uh, this one instead as I don't like to mix a lot of things with retinol. I don't want to mess up my skin barrier. Then next I go in with um, an essence. Um, and you would have seen from my original video that I picked up two of these. So I've got the Cordelay Vino Perfect. Um, this was the set that came with the um, Essence, the Facial Cream for Day, um, and the Serum for Dark Spots. And then this one is the Cos Cosrix. Cosrix. Um, this is a, I believe this is like a Korean beauty brand. Um, and this is the Snail Mucin. So I tend to use this one in the morning and then this one um, in the evenings and as you can see um, I'm about here with it so if you've this much. Um, I do really really like this one. I was unsure of what it was doing for my skin and then I saw a video to say that you're supposed to use this on sort of you know um, a slightly damp face so I've been spraying my face with um, just one of my sprays like my Max Fix Plus or uh, something like that and then I've been putting this on to my skin um, and I have really really liked it um, just all of these products really have I've noticed such a difference in them but yeah I'm going to be using the Accord Delay one for today's video as it is the day um, and you can put this on a cotton round and pop it all over the skin but I um, just put a few drops into my palms and I just kind of press it um, onto my face and neck and then I've of course got my uh, Cordelay Vino Perfect Serum so as you can see I've gone through uh, quite a bit of this I've only got about this much left I think I'm just over halfway um, this I've seen such a difference with I'm trying not to put the dropper to my skin directly um, but yeah I have seen such a difference especially in this side of my face like where I had quite a lot of um, scarring and almost like craters from spots it's just really smoothed out my texture I mean, I'm a little bit spotty at the moment, sort of around these areas. I got back from Italy um, last week, and of course I took care of my skin, you know, I was cleansing it, um, and making sure that I was taking off my SPF and makeup, double cleansing, um, but I just sometimes feel like on the airplane, like travelling, um, can sort of... Uh, mess with your skin and I was of course eating really rich foods like pizza pasta um, I was having gelato every day and you know really like frothy coffees and pastries um, I was just living my best life out there just because I just wanted to really enjoy the food um, and I feel like maybe my skin is sort of freaked out a little bit from all of that um so I've got a few little breakouts but they are minor and they are just sort of going away as quickly as they came but overall I'm just so so happy with you know the texture of my skin the way that it looks with makeup on I only use a pump of foundation now um and that's you know either my um Charlotte Tilbury beautiful skin which is quite a I would say it's more of like a they say it's a medium coverage I don't think it's quite medium um, as I used to go in with a, a few pumps of it to feel sort of happy with the, the coverage but I only use like a pump of it now and I used you know uh, concealer to spot conceal so I'm really noticing um, a difference in my skin so lastly I'm going to go in with the Vina Perfect um, day cream I am 
well completely out of it I'm just going right around the the rim and um, to get the last remnants of the product so this will appear in an empties video um this I'm really really impressed with I have been using it in the day but I've just enjoyed it so much that I have been picking it up at night as well um to add to this routine it's just such a fresh smelling cream um it's just almost really soothing and it just smooths on so nicely I love the glow that it gives to my skin I mean I just wore these skin products completely by themselves to go um, food shopping with Jake over the weekend um, and to go to the cinema last night like I never do that I never go out of the house without like a little bit of concealer on or something but I just feel like I'm getting more and more confident in my skin um, and it's a credit to all of these products here. This is my skin sort of up close, it just looks a lot smoother. Um, I do have the odd sort of blemishes that are here and sort of taking a little bit longer to go away but this side of my face especially I've just noticed it's just smoothed up so much. Um, I do of course still have um, blackheads but I just feel like <sighs> they have um, really improved in the size and appearance but yeah um we'll go back to the second part of the video now where i talk about the products in a bit more depth for you okay guys um so yeah just to talk in a little bit more depth about the products um i really 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 like this cleanser it's just a part of my um cleansing routine now i mean i <sighs> I don't use it every day, I think I use it sort of every other day um, just to really sort of <sighs> exfoliate my skin and I just love the way that it feels. Um, I mean I've gone through so much of it, I will be getting another one because I just love it so much. Um, I have had some skincare products um, bought for me for my birthday that I do of course want to try, I'm really excited to try those as well but this is definitely something that I will repurchase. I do love the way that I think that my skin has turned out from this after like four weeks of using it. I've noticed that my skin is just really smooth, really soft. Um, I love the smell of strawberries as well so this is just perfect cleanser for me. I do really like his original formula as well. Um, I just, I don't like that it doesn't lather up because I have a Foreo that I like to use with my cleansers, but I do have like CeraVe, Bare Minerals, all sorts that do lather up quite nicely with that, that I can use, um, that I do use in between using this one as well. I do also use my Wishful Yoglo Scrub. Um, I do really like that as a gentle exfoliator as well. I don't like using any harsh scrubs. I think you're going to leave any micro tears in my skin and mess up my skin barrier. Um, so I was originally worried with this one um, what the seeds would do if they would be very harsh. But they do feel just really nice and I do like to work them into my nose and my chin area. Um, and I do feel like I have seen a difference in the appearance of my blackheads as well, which is something that I was uh, very worried about before I used this product because I'm just, I was really looking for a product that would help with that. Um, and I do think that all of these products, this skincare routine that I've got going on at the moment, um, my skin is really going in the right direction. So I do really, really rate this product and I would recommend it. So I've talked about this product so much on my channel um, in my, uh, when I first bought Jeffree Star Skincare and an update on that. And it's been an empties video since. So I don't really need to talk about this one too much as it's not really a new product, but I, I do really like this in my skincare routine and I think I've bought like three or four of these at the moment so far and it is something that I will repurchase in the future. So next I'll talk about my um, essences here. So um, I do use this one in the morning and this one in the evening. Um, and this one I just think that it's so fresh. I don't use a cotton swab with it, I just put it straight into my hands and pat it all over my face and neck. Um, I love, love this range, it's fine, a perfect range. I think that it's just perfect um, that you have, I mean I have used up the face cream now, but I just loved using all three products. Um, and yeah, I mean, 
I was torn as to whether to just use this one first and use this one morning and night and then maybe, you know, use this one after, but I was just so excited to use this um, that I've kind of incorporated them both into my routine as I just have the skincare products and I do want to use them. So I've only gone, I'd say about a third of the way through this one so far, so I do have a long way to go. Um, but I do think that it's, it, it does what it says on the tin, you know. Um, I do feel like it brightens up my skin. I love the way um, my skin looks after using all of those products. Like I feel confident enough to, as I said earlier, just go out for a food shop in them. Or maybe, you know, just put a little bit of concealer if I've got like a little bit of redness on my face. But, I mean, after using these products, I haven't really had a spot that's come through very, like, you know, you get the under the skin spots, they're very lumpy, they're very painful, and they take ages to come to a head. I haven't had that um, using these products. I mean, touch wood that um, it doesn't happen now that I've said it, but... I found that I've just been getting like little spots that go away just as quickly as they come. Um, you know, I feel like my skin is so hydrated um, that, I mean, I've got some spots around my chin here. They're already like really hard and crusty and ready to just kind of fall off. So I just feel like I'm getting all the hydration that I need and it's really helping with any spots that I have been getting um, to just kind of work their way off my skin really um I mean I, I have just come back from Italy and I've been eating whatever I've wanted very rich foods I've been drinking alcohol I of course had the plane um there and back which I think has just kind of messed with my skin a little bit and I've just had Jake's birthday party as well for his 30th so I had um lots of Thai food we had you know we've I bought a massive cake from for his birthday, so we've been polishing off the cake, which has got obviously lots of sugar and stuff in, so I feel like I'm kind of putting my skin through it, but I'm really, really impressed with how my skincare um, routine at the moment is dealing with spots that are coming to, to head on my face. I mean, I, I've literally had these spots a couple of days, and usually... You know, it takes ages for them to come to head, and then they're just there, and they're just red and angry, but... I'm just so impressed at the moment. So this one here, I, I know I mentioned that um, I saw a video where you're supposed to use this on damp skin to get the best out of it. I have been doing that, I have been spraying my face and oh my gosh, this is like so sticky. Jake gets freaked out whenever I put this on my face. Um, but I do really, really like this. I do feel like this has helped my skin barrier so much. I do think that this is um, a, a big reason as to why my skin just feels so soft and so smooth. Um, so I'm really excited just to see what the no next sort of four weeks bring um, with using this product. I do have a little bit more um, to go. This has been a firm favorite. Um, I originally thought of this brand because of um, Amelia, Olivia and Ty Twee, Twee on TikTok. Um, they rave about this and um, this is, I mostly got this to get rid of any sort of dark spots um, and to just move along any sort of patches on my skin that have stayed behind um, where I've had spots and any sort of scarring acne and things. And I have just seen such a difference in using this product. My skin um, just feels so much smoother. I feel like I have less texture. Um, like when I apply my foundation and look in the mirror and go out in the sunlight and things, you can really see like every little sort of nook and cranny um, that, you know, when your foundation and concealer is over the top. But I'm just seeing like really smooth, bright skin and I'm just so, so happy. Um, so I would really recommend this if you don't want to get the kit, even though I think this is like £48 by itself but I got the kit for 50 and then I used a discount code anyway on Cult Beauty, I would recommend the set so you can try out the products. Um, the cream I love, it's just such a, it just smells like a spa. Um, I just love the way that it glides on the skin. I love it underneath makeup. I love it on no makeup days as well. It just gives a gorgeous sort of glow from within to the skin. Um, so I will be repurchasing all of these products. Um, I mean, the set is just such good value that I think that I'll continue to use the rest of the serum and then I'll just get the, um, and the essence and I'll just get the set again. Um, I mean, this is quite a small cream, so I may just get a full size cream and I mean what size is this? this is 15 mils I'm pretty sure I can travel with this 
if I would like to sort of take it away as we've got lots of little trips planned. Um, but yeah, I, I'm so, so happy with my skincare journey um, so far. I'm really, really impressed with the results that I've seen. Um, I do want to shout out the um, Glow Hub as well. I have been using their serums. They've featured in a recent empties video for end of April. We are on 1st of May today. Um, I particularly really, really like the scar layer. I think that's really, really helped with um, any acne scarring that I've had on my cheeks, especially. Um, but yeah, I do think that I will repurchase that one as well. But I'm just, I'm just so happy. I mean, I've always hated my skin. I've felt so insecure about it. And for me to even go food shopping without any makeup on my skin was just such a big deal for me. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm really, really happy and I can't wait to see what the next four weeks bring. Hey guys, uh, so that was the end of the video. I really hope that you've enjoyed watching this. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel before you leave and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.